Hi everyone and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. This week I'm sharing three dinners from our meal plan last week. The first one is Captain Crunch chicken tenders. So first I'm just smashing the Captain Crunch in a Ziploc bag. You could use a food processor if you have it or something easier than a soup can. Um, and then I'm preheating my oven to 450 degrees. And then in two separate bowls, you're going to want to put your Captain Crunch in one and then eggs in another. And then just salt and pepper your chicken. It doesn't have to be chicken thigh or chicken tenders. It could be chicken thighs, chicken breast, whatever. Um, and then you basically just dip it into the egg and then into the Captain Crunch and put it on a baking sheet. And for the chicken tenders, I put mine in for 15 minutes and they came out perfect. Um, just kind of play around with the time depending on what kind of chicken you use. But yeah, we paired that with mashed potatoes and green beans. And it was really simple and quick and my kids loved it. On this next night, we had spaghetti for dinner, and we actually made the pasta out of spaghetti squash. It was my first time trying spaghetti squash, let alone making spaghetti squash, uh, but it turned out really good, and I am still getting comfortable with the Instant Pot as far as making things go. I've only made a few things in the Instant Pot, but I decided to try the spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot, um, and I made it, well, I put a cup of water in and then put the trivet in and laid the spaghetti squash on top of that. Um, and then just cooked it on high pressure for 20 minutes. For the spaghetti sauce, I just um, browned some ground beef and then added some Prego, it was the farmer's market roasted garlic and just mix that together and let it simmer for a while. When the spaghetti squash was done, once I took the seeds out, I just took two forks and started shredding it up um, and it just looked like real pasta. For the last dinner here, I made a crispy cheddar chicken, which I found the recipe online. I'll link it below. And then a baked potato that I had to smash because it came out still a little hard. And then um, a Brussels sprout recipe that I found on the Hidden Valley Ranch uh, website, which I'll also link below. So I'm starting with the Brussels sprouts and I'm just buttering a baking dish and then I'm spreading uh, Parmesan cheese around. Next, I just cleaned some Brussels sprouts and cut them in half and then put them on a baking sheet tossed in olive oil and then put them in the oven to roast at 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. Hey, well something's gotta give today it's a good day today and not tomorrow there's no time to borrow today well something's gotta give today it's a good day today it's a good Once I have the Brussels sprouts in the baking dish, I just put some breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese on top and then I put it in the oven still at 450 degrees um, for 25 minutes. You're doing the same. No rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where you're 
hot as fire but baby i bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees without so for the chicken i'm just dipping the chicken each into um, a milk egg wash and then into shredded cheese and then into ritz crackers and sprinkling parsley on top also, I baked it at 400 degrees for 35 minutes with um, aluminum foil on top and then 10 minutes without. And then for the sauce, I just heated in a saucepan, um, cream of chicken soup, sour cream, and butter. So that is it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I appreciate you coming here, and I hope that you come back next week for another What's for Dinner. But LA changed her, no rain, no flowers.